For he hath given his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Psalm chapter 90 verse 11. The memorial of the holy guardian angels is a feast day in the Catholic Church officially observed every October 2nd. Devotion to the angels is an ancient tradition that the Christian Church inherited from Judaism. It began to develop with the birth of the monastic tradition. The feast was first kept by the Franciscan Order in 1500. This feast was locally celebrated before it was placed in the general Roman calendar in 1607 by Pope Paul V. It was originally ranked as a double. Pope Clement X elevated it to the rank of an obligatory double, and, finally, Pope Leo XIII raised the feast to the rank of a double major. Since 1976, it has been ranked an obligatory memorial. In Matthew's chapter 18, the angels are described to be the ones sent to watch closely over us. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think, if a man owns a hundred sheep, and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. The truth that each and every human soul has a guardian angel that protects us, from both spiritual and physical evil, has been shown throughout the Old Testament and is made very clear in the New Testament. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, Are they not all ministering spirits, sent to minister for them, who shall receive the inheritance of salvation? However, they guide us to heaven only if we desire it. As St. Thomas Aquinas wrote, Angels cannot act directly upon our will or intellect, although they can do so on our senses and imaginations, thus encouraging us to make the right decisions. In heaven our guardian angels, though no longer needing to guide us to salvation, will continually enlighten us. Prayer to the guardian angels is encouraged, and the habit of remembering their presence and support leads to friendship with them. The prayer to the guardian angels has been present in the church since at least the beginning of the 12th century. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.